kinetic molecular theory of gases firstly let me ask you why we need to study kinetic molecular theory of gases well it is because with the help of this theory we can understand the behavior of gases like pressure of gases volume of gases temperature of gases and relationship between them for example kinetic molecular theory of gases explains the inflation of a balloon when you blow air into a balloon you are adding more gas molecules into the balloon as a result the gas molecules collide with the inner surface of the balloon and they exert pressure on it this pressure causes the balloon to expand so this inflation of a balloon is explained by kinetic molecular theory of gases thus remember that it is the kinetic molecular theory of gases which explains the behavior of different gases also remember that kinetic molecular theory was given by swiss mathematician daniel bernoulli later it was extended by maxwell and boltzmann now we will learn the important postulates of kinetic molecular theory of gases the first postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about molecules it states that gases are made up of tiny particles called molecules molecules may be monoatomic like hydrogen gas neon gas etc or molecule may be diatomic like oxygen gas nitrogen gas etc or molecule may be polyatomic molecules like methane gas ch4 or c4h10 The second postulate of kinetic molecular theory is about molecules of same gases. It states that molecules of the same gases are identical in all respect. They have the same mass, shape and size. For example, consider hydrogen gas. The molecule of hydrogen gas have the same size, same shape and same mass. The third postulate of kinetic molecular theory is about volume. It states that the volume actually occupied by gas molecule is negligible in comparison to the volume of the container. For example, consider this closed container having hydrogen gas. Now here we know that the size of hydrogen gas particles is very very small. They occupy very small space in the container. Secondly there is empty spaces between the molecules of hydrogen gas because they are far away from each other so we conclude that gas inside the container occupy very very small volume are negligible volume if compared to the volume of the container the third postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about intermolecular forces it states that there is no intermolecular forces of attraction or repulsion present among the molecules for example consider gas enclosed in this container we know that the molecules of gas are far away from each other so we assume that there is no intermolecular forces present among the molecules remember that in real gases it is not possible it is only possible in case of ideal gases the fourth postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about random motion of molecules it states that gas molecules are in random motion they travel in a straight line until they collide with each other or with the wall of the container for example consider gas in this closed container this molecule will move in a straight line after collision with this wall of the container it will recoil and will move in opposite direction the fifth postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about the type of collision it states that gas molecules undergo elastic collision it means that during collision no loss or gain of energy take place for example in the closed container this molecule will collide with the wall of the container during collision this molecule neither lose its kinetic energy 
nor gain any energy. So we say that this collision of the gas molecule is perfectly elastic collision. The sixth postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about kinetic energy of molecules. It states that the average kinetic energy of the gas molecules completely depends upon the absolute temperature. Remember that kinetic energy of the gas molecule does not depend upon the nature of gas. For example, consider one mole hydrogen gas and one mole oxygen gas at 300 Kelvin. The molecules of both the gases have the same kinetic energy because they both are present at the same temperature. The seventh postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about gas pressure. It states that when gas molecules collide with the wall of the container, they exert pressure. For example, in this closed container, when this molecule of the gas collide with the wall of the container, it exerts force on the unit area of the wall. We know that force per unit area is called pressure. Hence, it is the gas pressure on the wall of the container. The eighth postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gases is about effect of gravity. It states that gravity is often neglected are considered to have negligible effect on the molecules of a gas. For example, in this closed container, this molecule of the gas is extremely small. It does not experience any gravitational force. So we neglect the effect of gravity on the molecules of the gas. So these are the eight important postulates of kinetic molecular theory of gases. On the basis of above postulates, we derive kinetic gas equation. PV is equal to 1 upon 3 m into n u squared, where P is the pressure of the gas, V is the volume of the gas, m is the mass of the gas, n is the number of molecules, and u is the root mean square velocity of molecules. Finally, remember that Kinetic molecular theory of gases is 100% true for ideal gases. While real gases do not always follow the assumption of the kinetic molecular theory of gases. For example, kinetic molecular theory states that there is no intermolecular forces present among molecules. But in case of real gases, there exist weak intermolecular forces among gas molecules. Thus noted down this important point about kinetic molecular theory of gases. In the next lecture, we will derive the kinetic gas equation.